I mean, I was with a bunch of family and friends, um, just chilling out in my backyard. Um, and, you know, I, I mean, I kind of had an idea, uh, but nobody else really did. And, you know, it's a commercial break, and I see, you know, Orioles pick us in. I'm like, this could this be it, whatever. Um, and it's through a commercial, and I see at the bottom of the screen, I see my name. And I was like, no way. And uh, me and me and my buddy were the only ones that uh, noticed that, and we both stand up, and we're going nuts, and everybody's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm going to Baltimore. And so, of course, my mom's like, just wait. Like, I got to see it, like, in person, see them say your name and all that. I'm like, Mom, like, I've known this for a little while now, and she couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. It was just so surreal moment um, for my friends and family that were there and everybody else. And right after that, my phone went absolutely nuts so it was it was unbelievable so baltimore was always the team how much contact did you have during them through this draft process and what was the relationship like after the season yeah i mean i've uh they're actually one of the teams i talked to uh senior year high school um so i've talked with them um for a while now and then after the season they were one of the teams that i contacted with texted with had calls with whatever um and you know just were able to get a uh, deal done through draft night and so hopefully, you know, there's still some stuff that has to go down for the process to be finalized, but, but yeah. What was that wait like? You had knew that there was a good chance you could go either in the first round or early in the second. So what was the wait like kind of getting to that point late on Sunday night? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely nerve-wracking, especially, you know, you got friend and family there, and there's definitely a chance that you don't get picked um, day one. And, you know, that's just... I guess I, you know, I was playing beanbags with my buddy, just trying to make the time go, because I knew... The top picks, I, there was a pretty good shot that I wasn't going to go, so I was just, you know, just kind of playing some beanbag toss with, with my buddy, just trying to let the time roll on. And then my advisor called me and said, you know, you might want to strap it in because it's about to get a little serious coming up here. And it was like the picks 30 and 40s and stuff like that. So I kind of sat down and was on the phone with him, and I think some of my friends and family knew something was about to go down, um, but obviously they didn't know what pick or stuff like that. So... I was just a little bit nerve-wracking while I waited. Was that the range that you always thought that you would go in after your um, season at Clemson, or, or did things pick up, I guess, after your season where your advisor was talking to you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I didn't really know where I was going to go. Um, I, I had hoped, you know, somewhere within that range. But, again, it's, it's the MLB draft. Like, anything can happen. Um, so I guess I was just surprised of where I was. Um, but like I said, uh, my advisor in Baltimore were able to communicate and just had the pick come in. It was awesome. I know the Orioles talked about one of the things they liked about you was the resiliency you showed bouncing back after your freshman year. Can you just take us inside that a little bit, your, your mindset, your mentality, and how you were able to take that jump as a sophomore? Yeah, for sure. I mean, freshman year was definitely tough. Um, you know, Definitely had uh, I changed my approach freshman year, which is something that I didn't want to do. Um, it was kind of, you know, coaching staff wanted me to do some uh, some changes here and there, which I was definitely open to doing it. Um, and I just knew uh, um, last summer I had to call my advisor and my dad because he's been my hitting coach my whole entire life, and we just you know kind of made a plan of you know getting back to where I was in high school. Um, getting back to my true approach, and that's exactly what I did, and it really paid off for me. Did you think going into this year that you'd be entering the draft after your sophomore year? Was that something that started to, as you had success, kind of creep into your mind? Yeah, uh, definitely not. Um, especially, you know, how freshman year went, um, and I didn't even start opening day this past year, sophomore year. Um, to be where I am today, it's, it's still, like, it hasn't even synced in for me yet. What kind of opportunity do you see with the Orioles organization? We know they've been a team that's kind of struggled in recent years, but as we've seen this season, they're definitely on the up. Yeah, I mean, great organization. Um, I've been told really good development um, with minor league players, stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I haven't heard a whole lot, um, but I'm just really excited for, uh, for what's ahead for me. Max, you talk about your dad. You know, you guys have a special relationship. Sure, that moment, hearing your name get called on – MLB, you know, network with your dad by your side was a special moment for you guys. Yeah, I mean, he, I kind of, like I said, I, I kind of knew I was um, going to get picked around 42, um, and he was actually the only other person to kind of know that because I had to tell someone because it was just eating me alive throughout the night. And uh, he was the only one that I told, so he kind of knew. But, I mean, just, you know, hearing my name and seeing it being official is just, it's just a different kind of feeling. Um, and, I mean, 
I'm not a very emotional guy, but he is, and he was breaking down. So was my mom. I mean, it's just a really emotional moment, and just all the hard work I put in pretty much since I was five years old, just, you know, hitting with my dad every day. Um, you know, he was my coach growing up, and he was pretty much my hitting coach throughout Clemson, just, you know, mental, mentally-wise, stuff like that, and just to have that moment finally come true and that dream that I've had and that my dad has had for me finally come true is just unreal. Talk about this year because you didn't, you weren't even a starter at the start of the season. You were a defensive replacement your freshman year. You weren't starting this the start of the year, and now you're a second round draft pick. I mean, has it set in yet? Just this whole whirlwind of a year for you? Yeah, I mean, it's this whole entire year has been unreal. Like something I never would have thought would have happened. I mean, I always knew I was a great player, um, but the stuff I did this year, I, I mean, it's just unreal. Like I keep saying, um, but. You know, just for not starting opening day, um, and then obviously ACC Player of the Year, all the awards, whatever. Um, I mean, it's just I knew, I knew what I had in me. Um, confidence never left. You know, I just had to keep working hard. Uh, I'm just gonna continue to do that. Continue to be the same player on and off the field, and just you know, hope the future looks bright for me.